Next up on WTV, the Frisco Education Foundation, this week's edition of Trivia, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, December 2nd, and I'm Kyle Strickland with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. The Frisco Education Foundation Scholarship is now open. WTV's Kurthy Gamadi has a story. The application went live at 10 a.m. this morning and allows Frisco ISD seniors to apply for countless scholarships from the Frisco Education Foundation. Since 1999, the foundation has awarded more than $7.2 million in scholarships to more than 6,300 seniors. In addition to the foundation, scholarships are also provided by outside donors. Scholarships are awarded for academic achievement, financial need, community involvement, and other criteria created by donors. Applications will not be accepted after 4 p.m. on December 20th and scholarships will be handed out May 20th at Comerica Center. Reporting for WTV, I'm Kirthi Gamadi. Regional auditions for band begins this week, and some students are doing a little more to prepare in order to get ready for the audition. WTV Stone Weber has the details. The all-region band audition is on Saturday, and with students receiving the music in July, many of them have been preparing for months. Trying to help students get used to playing individually in front of small crowds, band director Zachary Anderson is having students play their region music in front of other classes. It was, it was really just kind of a thought that I had that I, I figured would be a really good idea for students to get a holistic approach to playing in front of people who have never heard them play uh, and to put them in a position where they have to play not in front of just their peers and people that play the instrument that they play, but play for other people that they respect um, that may not have any idea um, about what they're playing. Playing in front of other classes is something junior Jack Millicent thinks will prepare him for the audition. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea because, you know, it gives you an opportunity to play your music in, like, in front of a group of people that are around your age group. And it just, you know, kind of helps you get the kind of aesthetic feeling of what it's going to be like in the all-region room. Sophomore Praneeth Akineni believes that students can get over the fear of playing in front of others through this process. Uh, I personally think it's a good idea. I, I'm sure some people would disagree, but I think it's a good idea because it helps people get into, like, a mock audition setting and... It helps people get over the fear of playing in front of other people. For Wingspan TV, I'm Stone Weber. On this week's edition of Trivia, WTV's TJ Krilowitz asked students about basketball. Hello, welcome to Wingspan Trivia. I'm your host, TJ Krilowitz, and today we'll be testing students' knowledge on basketball. Okay, can you tell me who won the NBA championship last year? Uh, hold on. Wait, God, hold on. I don't go and say lost. Is it the Spurs? The Raptors. The Lakers. The Dallas Mavericks. Okay, can you tell me um, who won the NBA championship last year? The Raptors. What team has won the most championships? Like this whole time? Yeah, like throughout uh... NBA history. Lakel Lakers? The Celtics. The 49ers. Is that even a basketball team? <laughs> That's a football team. Oh my god. All right. Um, you want to make a guess yeah, for basketball? Yeah. All right. The Celtics. The Mavericks. <laughs> the Celtics. Um, what team drafted LeBron James? Heat. Cavaliers. Oh, the, the Lakers? I don't know! <laughs> The Lakers. The Cleveland Cavaliers. Who has scored the most points in NBA history? Uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. LeBron James. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Reporting for WTV, this is DJ Krolitz. On today's Sports Minute, WTV's Walker Shippey gives you a recap of girls and boys basketball. Boys basketball played five non-conference games over the break. The boys started off with a win on the 22nd, beating Naaman Forest 62-44. The boys moved on to play Mesquite and Plano on the 25th, besting both teams 67-42 and 59-51 respectively. The next day, the Red Hawks took on the 15th best team in Oklahoma, the Oklahoma City Storm, beating the team 50-41 in overtime. Later that day, the boys played their last game of the break, falling to 6A MacArthur High School with a score of 64-49. to 
The Red Hawks play again on Thursday at Mansfield High School at 7:15 with their opponent to be determined. Girls basketball played four non-conference games over the break in the Allen Lady Eagle Hoop Fest. The team took on 6A Duncanville on the 22nd, falling to the Panthers 51-21. The team then matched up against Waco Midway, winning 42-40. The girls moved on to play San Antonio Brandias on the 23rd, losing 43-36. The Redhawks played their final game of the tournament on the 22nd, taking on 6A DeSoto High School, losing to the Eagles 65-18. The girls finished the tournament as a silver bracket semifinalist. The team plays their first district game on Tuesday, taking on Lebanon Trail at 6 o'clock at the Nest. For WTV Sports, this is Walker Shippey. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Seniors, if you have not taken a cap and gown photo, you will not be in the yearbook. Call Southern Images at 972-414-6884 immediately to book your free photo session. See Ms. Bryn in room C-147 if you have any questions. That's it for today's daily update. This is Kyle Strickland for Wingspan TV.